parents with our changing lifestyle and the day-to-day -day activities that we keep doing, our body demands a lot of good diet and good food. Otherwise, it goes for a toss and starts dysfunctioning. So today, from our expert, we'll get to know what is that apt diet and the apt food intake that we should take to keep our kidney healthy and the apt diet for the people who are suffering from kidney disorders. So let me welcome the renowned, the famous Ayurvedic kidney specialist, Dr. Puneet Dhawan. Welcome, Dr. Puneet. Thank you. Look, diet has a very good importance in any of the disease, including the kidney disease as well. What diet we should need to follow if you are having a kidney disease or if you are prone to any disease or prone to a kidney disease. So that diet should be, you know, uh, of the low protein levels. The content of protein should be less in the diet because the proteins is being filtered by the kidney and as a result of which the byproduct of protein is urea. So when a kidney patient is there, the urea is increasing. When we eat protein, the, the urea is going to increase more. So we need to restrict the protein intake when the patient is suffering from a kidney problem. And uh, if someone is on dialysis, then we need to uh, see how much protein then uh, he or she needs to take. Then we need to measure it and we need to tell it because it's going to be a personalized thing, personalized diet chart for everyone. If someone is having high calcium level, then we need to see how much milk he, can, he or she can take, if at all. If someone is having a low calcium level, then we need to include the milk in the diet. If someone is having potassium, phosphorus, we need to take the micronutrients into consideration before making a final diet chart. So this is going to be a personalized diet chart for each and every patient that he or she needs to follow in discipline. Besides this diet, the patient needs, needs to restrict the liquid as well because sometimes there is a swelling in the body. So that those that swelling doesn't increase, he or she needs to restrict the liquid as well. And uh, there are some restrictions or some discipline that you, every one of us needs to inculcate in his or her own life, whether he or she is suffering from a kidney problem or not. If everyone takes these things into consideration, I can make sure that disease will be less. Besides these things, there are very important other things that every kidney patient can follow. And besides a kidney patient, there are those who are not having any kind of diseases. Not, there are those who are perfectly healthy can also follow this. First of all, we need to take this thing in consideration that whenever we drink water, we need to drink water in a sitting position. We don't need to drink water in a standing position. Now, today in a scientific world, everyone is going to ask why. This thing we used to, we used to hear from our elders that always drink water in a sitting position. Don't drink water if you are standing. But we used to say that there is no, when we used to ask them why, there used to be no reasons because they don't uh, know at that time what is the scientific reason behind it. But in today's scientific world, I'm going to tell you why is this so, why we, we, need, uh, we need to drink water always in our sitting position. Uh, whenever we are in a sitting position, our center of gravity is at the stomach, is at the stomach. And whenever we are in the standing position, the center of gravity gets shifted to other parts and water also get digested, water also digests. So whenever we are drinking water in a sitting position, the center of gravity, the stomach digests the water properly and there is no swelling and no complications at all. So this is the thing that everyone needs to follow, first of all. Second thing that needs to be taken, taken in consideration is this, that whenever we drink water, we need to drink it by sip by sip. Never drink water in a hurry. Because our mouth has a protection unit which works continuously 24-7. There is no holiday for this. It's not off on Christmas, it's not off on, on Diwali. It's working throughout the day. And you will be curious to know that how much saliva our salivary glands produces in a day. That's to the tune of about 10 liters in a day. 10 liters of saliva is being produced by our salivary glands. So when we are drinking water sip by sip, our saliva is basic in nature and our stomach has got an acidic content, has an hydrochloric content in it. So when we drink water sip by sip, the basic content of saliva gets mixed with the acid content of stomach and when the basic and the acid get mixed, it leads to a neutral thing. You can test this. 
you can take the saliva from your mouth and test it you can you will see it's alkaline it's basic in nature however our stomach is a it, it keeps on producing the hydrochloric acid the acidic content so our god has made such a provision that acid doesn't remain acid and the basic doesn't remain basic it get neutralized so this is the thing we need to follow that whenever you drink water drink it sip by sip drink it in a sitting position don't drink water in a hurry drink water as you drink a hot milk take have one sip put it right left and then let it go in take another sip mix it in your mouth and then let it in this way you are going to be protected from a lot many diseases these small small things we can inculcate in our daily lives and you will see the changes yourself uh, and one more important thing that needs to be in consideration is that you need to have less of sugar less of sugar in the diet sugar is said to be the cause of more than 103 diseases does sugar have any potassium there are about 18 to 20 micronutrients that we need in our body what does sugar have sugar doesn't have any of these micronutrients iron calcium magnesium potassium phosphorus none of these does sugar have proteins no does sugar have any kind of vitamin a b c d e none of these does sugar have anything that is useful for us there's nothing that is useful for us but some people are going to think that sugar has sweetness because this sweetness is sucrose in, in nature and the sucrose never gets digested in our body it never gets digested and the thing that you are going to have along with the sugar the sucrose will also not let it digest also along with the sugar it's not going to digest itself but the thing that you're going to take along with that it's also not going to digest so what is the sweetness that is useful for us that is important for us that is fructose and where is this fructose found fructose is found in everything which is made by god and man-made thing has got sucrose in nature you must have noticed that whenever you go nearby a sugar mill there is a kind of a smell a kind of a foul smell that you that you can experience what smell is this for this is the smell of a sulfur this is the same sulfur that is used in the fireworks is the same sulfur that is used to refine the sugar so there is a jaggery jaggery is the is also the sugar cane juice and sugar is also the sugar cane juice but this jaggery is extremely useful however the sugar which is also the sugar cane juice is not useful because it is being prepared by a complicated process in which the micronutrients and every other things are being eliminated so we need to take care of it have less of sugar in your diet and you will see the changes absolutely very rightly said uh, dr puneet and i think these small tips these are so important and so valuable that you know immaterial of whether you are ill or you are not or you're suffering from kidney damage or kidney disorder or you're not but if you follow this in your routine in your day-to-day -day life i'm sure it'll it'll give you great results and i think entire life one can remain healthy fit and fine yes. so i would really like to thank you on behalf of our viewers for giving us and sharing such important tips with us thank you so friends if you want to try this time-tested medicines which date back to 5000 years back into Ayurveda, then stay connected and feel free to contact Karma Ayurveda, where Dr. Puneet with his team will surely help you and show you the correct way. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel, to the YouTube channel, Karma Ayurveda, like and share our video and yes, do comment in the box below the video because it is very, very important to have your feedback. Thank you.